Virgo. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. My name is Christine. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Virgo Tarot reading. Virgo love tarot reading. Virgo love reading. And as is very much the case, pretty much always the case. <laughs> Here at the Tarot Closet, Virgo love messages reading. Channeled love messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. Their feelings for you. Your feelings for them. What's going on in your connection? Who's making what move, if any? And yeah, how? what's going on? How do you feel about each other? What's happening? Let's take a look at the energy. The Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords. Well, a validation of the no contact, no communication and or in separation, but this is driving somebody bonkers, Virgo. They're not <laughs> liking this at all. In fact, they're watching you. Page of Swords. Yeah, they're watching you. I feel like they're talking about you. This is somebody who is not enjoying, not talking to you, and or seeing you, the separation. Perhaps there's some, just some communication troubles, but I think it's a little more than that. Ten of Wands, Jupiter, and Sagittarius energy. They're definitely wanting to get out of this energy. Sort of studying. Our page energy is like a student. Truth, clarity, information, got these all these light bulbs above their head getting some ideas because they're holding on to the truth of what how they feel what is going on here so did something happen and they're just watching I was going to say like a hawk these aren't hawks but it is that feeling you know just talking about you checking in if you are on social media it could be that's how they're doing this just even the way the cards are coming in Interesting. It's like weighing heavy on them and feeling that. Virgo, I'm channeling for you in April 2024, and you could be here in April 2024. You could also be here many months, even years later. And that's because this is a timeless reading. This is a faded connection, Virgo. You're here when you're meant to be here, so welcome. It means there are messages for you. Let's look at the energy coming in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. The truth is, they love you. And they do not like this separation. It is just here. Libra energy. Venus, the planet of love. It's a master number. It's new beginnings. It can be around coming together union. And we have the lover's card here too. Gemini energy and more Venus energy. The truth is they love you. I'll tell you that. You love each other. Do they have a question for you? There, oftentimes, there could be a decision coming here. I, I don't know. I do feel like they're making a move. They're sick of, I feel like, watching things from afar. This is somebody who is looking in on you and is not liking the separation. You love each other. That much is really, really clear. Soulmate energy is really strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. Are they planning some kind of offer? Are they getting out? Because the thing is, the Page of Swords is holding on to the truth. So it's already clear some of that truth is that they love you. And they're getting ready here to reveal that. That's what I wanted to say. And it's definitely going to change everything here. Okay, Virgo. Let's see where else this is going. Virgo, all your playlists, your Virgo Zodiac readings are linked below in the description. You'll also find, well, all 12 Zodiac signs. And you'll find love all signs tarot readings. Those are collective love readings. Love readings for the collective. If you are on a twin flame journey, or maybe you're, you're curious, you're not sure, there are really long in-depth twin flame readings below. And a lot more, so feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. Take what resonates and let the rest go. It's just not always going to resonate for everybody. Let's see the energy coming in. Okay, 
Yeah, <laughs> this is somebody who's trying to figure out how to tell you how they feel, who's been thinking about it for a long time. King of Swords, Page of Cups. Figuring it out, Page of Swords and the Page of Cups now. Wanting to come in here, heart on their sleeve. Share how they feel about you. Is there an offer here? It very well could be. Very well could be here. But again, it's that student energy. It's like, how can I do this? I'm just trying to figure some things out. King of Swords, Gemini, and Mercury energy. And Gemini is all about studying the truth and information, education, you could say, receiving it and becoming a better communicator for it. And also, of course, bringing it. Mercury, the ruling planet for you, Virgo, and also Gemini. This is Gemini and Mercury energy, but you share a ruling planet. And it's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. You know, oftentimes around reading and writing, or just kind of also how you normally communicate. This is somebody who's been planning it and thinking about it for a long time. They've been watching you in the Page of Swords. They're tired of being in this energy, of not talking, not communicating. If you're in separation physically, this is coming here with information. It's communication. And it's around how they feel about you. And I feel like some kind of offer. Let's see. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not, Virgo. Really helps to keep the channel moving, I can't tell you. So thank you for that. Let's see what else is coming through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Virgo needs to see. Aho. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Star in reverse. I don't love that. The Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, they want to get over this and they want to end no contact. This is, it's like your person not answering the star energy here, the reversal energy. It's just things at, it's like kind of losing a little bit of hope energy, things not moving. Aquarius and Uranus energy. You could say a sadness around it and there's also some ego. Whoa, that is coming through around your person. And we can see here, they're definitely trying to figure out how to come. Our page of wands. So this is the third page we've seen. Is it's in reverse, you know? So there's some there's been, and this is in the partnership placement. It's a really current energy for me of just what's been going on. It's been somebody who's been afraid to communicate, who has also been in some arrogance, and we can see some issues around commitment. Seven of Cups. And this is Venus and Scorpio energy. Five of Pentacles coming here. Mercury and Taurus energy. This is ending the no contact, no communication. It's a coming back in here energy. So they get, they're getting out of the Seven of Cups. This is somebody who obviously we saw coming in. The truth is, is that they love you. Justice in the Lover's card. I mean, it was already coming in just in <laughs> watching you. The Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords. Then coming back with the lovers and Venus, the Page of Cups, and the King of Swords, trying to figure out how to communicate. I don't know how long it's been here. Look what's here, it's the Nine of Pentacles. This is coming in, but this is a commitment energy. It's things coming to fruition. We're one pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles. So were you in a long-term connection? Were you building it? Was it on the table? And Virgo, this is your energy. Virgo and Mercury energy. It's very much on their mind. One pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles. They're trying to work this out. It's the Five of Wands in reverse. Saturn and Leo energy. The challenges and the obstacles, both that you've had, but also there, there is ego here today. I've got to tell you. Commitment energy, yeah. Definitely some commitment issues. There could be other things going on. You know, other choices, other things around. Could be around love. Could be other things. We could be talking money, work contracts, other contracts with other people, but also perhaps distance or work, things that are keeping you apart. And this is where they're, they're heading. They're wanting to get out of, they want to make it out of here. This again is solving these issues. And they're trying to. 
then around your person too it's really clear that there's ego here and what else because this does connect to Saturn and that can be connecting well it's the obstacles you know some lessons that need to be learned but it can be connecting us to yeah to other connections the ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles so there's that page energy again trying to figure out yeah, how to come with that and look it's the three of cups there's the ten of pentacles nine ten there's the nine pentacles it's catty corner here with our page gosh page of wands in reverse page of swords page of cups page of pentacles so we've seen them all you know they're they're trying to get their footing here look balancing so this is somebody that has been in some ego they're they're getting out of it and it's again it's trying to figure out how to come here this is commitment energy it's slow moving but it's long term and that nine of pentacles coming in here's this is who's holding the pentacle somebody that might be younger somebody that might be a little bit afraid what is that going the next level or maybe continuing maybe somebody got scared were you in a long-term connection? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's here on the table. They want to resolve the issues. But this page is, is what's holding on to that 10th pentacle. But I'll tell you, this is showing up for that. And we saw that already. It's really clear that they love you. What was being, what was the truth around? You know, and it, it got revealed really fast with that lover's card in justice. This truth changing everything, bringing you together again. A new start but this is an energy of I'm here for this long-term commitment I'm here for the long haul energy this is the long-term commitment and it's more energy of yours Virgo Mercury and Virgo energy a new cycle yeah in order to even get here the end of no contact no communication and or in separation they're working on it it's deducing into a one the opportunity the potential that's far too many saw some here then maybe that's it the chariot is here the ace of cups yeah this is a lot more than i thought look the world card is also here it's the completion energy leo scorpio taurus and aquarius energy the chariot the moon in cancer and the ace of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy the three of cups my gosh if you are able to see your person, it's really clear that you're going to see them. They're, somebody's traveling to it. I kind of think it's your person. It could even be that they have to work out some logistics to be somewhere. I know it's not for everybody that it's in person, Virgo, but it is here. And if, it's the, if that's the case, then I guess you probably already know what the event is. Most likely something like a party or a graduation, a wedding, that sort of thing sisters you know the three of cups soul connection this is cancer mercury and cancer energy it's a reunion energy it's divine timing communication again it's a, it's celebratory and here it is with the chariot as well which is more cancer energy and the moon energy opening up revealing how they feel that lover's card the truth justice so revealing how they feel to you, maybe it's around a family event here, friends. Them also getting clarity here because this is somebody who has been an ego and I feel like hasn't been particularly clear and hasn't been responding. So it could be just around messages in general. There is some immature energy and that is attached also to ego. They're definitely trying to come back in here. And this is, again, like I said, it's bigger than I thought. And if you're not able to see your person, the Mercury energy is still here, and that's around the communication. Oftentimes connected to the reading and writing, SMS, social media, email. Mercury is your ruling planet, Virgo, of course, as well as Gemini, which we saw coming in with the King of Swords. So the communication either at a particular event or this is going down, going down, <laughs> SMS, social media, email, but maybe you talk on the phone. How do you normally communicate? It's on, they're on the move. And again, if there's traveling, they're traveling. They figure it out. Do they have car trouble? <laughs> you know, something in their head because that, that 10 of wands, page of swords, holding on to the truth of how they feel, looking at things, talking about you. There could be some strategy around it, 
both seeing you in person or and or communicating, just communicating, like getting information from other people. But they figured out how to get these horses moving. This is getting figuring out the obstacles here and things moving again and this changing everything. It's around your love. It's emotional energy. It's right here with the divine too. Both the yin yang energy here, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, which I like because this is somebody who has been in shadow and ego, making some choices that they clearly are regretting and not making other choices that they wish they had or that they know they should have made. It's not about gender. It's coming into the balanced energy and being able to be honest and clear with themselves so they can open up and be honest and clear with you. This is also a particularly emotional horse. And this is a horse who's got a lot of humility. So there is also some apologetic energy here. I don't know if that's just around commitment issues or kind of maybe both. Also, again, the arrogance not responding. There is some immature energy here. But it's pushing through the obstacles. I mean, quite literally, the Five of Wands, that goes, that's what this is. Challenges and obstacles around this page energy. Who's trying to figure it out? I don't know if this is just, I don't think it's just their ego and commitment issues. There might be other people, you know, involved. But this Five of Wands in reverse energy is like my, <laughs> my little protege to temperance. Really wanting to work things out. We need the support from temperance. Archangel Michael. Well, we don't need it, but it would be nice. But this is that energy of what they're trying to do here. And you can see it literally. They figured something out. They cracked the code because they're getting the chariot moving here with the nine of pentacles, which means they're getting this page moving. Literal movement to an event, if that's the case, but it's still right here to communication. And the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, proposal energy. Yes, it could be around marriage. It could also be around a family you already built, a family you want to build. Family is going to be really specific to you. It doesn't necessarily mean children and babies and an extended family, but it's strong energy that is here if that's the case. I could be talking fur babies. Maybe it's just moving in, going exclusive. But the proposal energy is strong. Look at the heart coming out of here. Out of the cup, which is vibrating and overflowing and it's connecting with the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles this is all on the move it is strong interesting i was <laughs> about to talk about the six of wands and it's in reverse so it's kind of where i feel like things have been and they might still be a little bit here it's like a little bit of lack of confidence so there's some kind of lack of confidence it could be around what they want to ask you could be around a particular event or even sending that message or picking up the phone. Justice is here. Yeah, it's a stagnancy around that. My gosh. Okay. <laughs> the magician is here. I'm really liking this. We need this support. Also the world card because they are definitely. So here's the validation of the ego. It's the emperor in reverse. Mars and Aries energy, yeah, holding back feelings, not responding, coming here with the Hermit in reverse, this is your energy, Virgo, Mercury energy, it's like a stuck energy, they're just a little bit afraid that they're going to, I don't know, like they're going to mess some things up, if, especially if this is around an actual event and they have something that they want to ask you in front of other people, lover's card, justice and, rever and the upright coming in, six of wands, also, it was kind of like, well, in general, look, lights on, camera lights, camera action. It's sort of like a spectacle, you know, and a, like a, wanting this recognition, you know, around other people. So it can be that, yeah, there is some major proposal that they have planned. Could be marriage, but it could be a lot of things or just showing up at something where there's people that you both know. I mean, it's super validated with the Three of, three of Cups and the Six of Wands. Again, it may not be in person, but it's still the energy of what they're wanting to do. And I do feel like there's some kind of talking, yeah, in collaboration with other people. That's clear. But they're afraid they're going to mess it up. 
but they want desperately to get out of this hermit energy. You're not wanting to be hurt. It's like a stuck energy. It's a lonely energy. It's the separation. Look at this. They want to get out of it. That came through really clear in the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords, and then the justice coming through with the lovers, that they want to end that, and they want you to know how they feel, and they want to make some kind of offer that might be really big for you. It depends on what it is. The Nine of Cups here with the Death in Reverse. It's more ego. It's a stagnation around that, although it's something they are working toward. And the Nine of Cups in Reverse is a lot like the Star Energy in Reverse. Jupiter in Pisces Energy. And it's like the lack of things having... You were, were you already in a life together? Had you built a life together? Were you building it wasn't on the table? Something happened. It just put things in this no contact... Lying about how they feel, what they wanted, because justice came back in the energy that they're trying to get out of. We already saw the incoming energy, the lovers and justice. Can't, <laughs> you can't fool us. So the truth of how they feel is, yes, they love you, and there's more coming in here. Big time, Ten of Pentacles, Chariot, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, the World card. They want to get out of no contact, no communication. This is the completion energy. And it's very oftentimes connected to... Next level, marriage, proposals, moving in, possibly family, building a family or blending a family, whatever it is. You were somewhere there on that, somewhere there, and something happened. You know, maybe just getting there and they freaked out. I don't know. Got scared. Were there other things? Were you not exclusive and there were other connections going on? Were there already other people? Were they lying to you? Justice in reverse, death, uh, rebirth in reverse. Scorpio energy. Again, it's a strong stagnation energy. I mean, it's really around everything. It's feeling not really so hopeful. It's, you can see that wishes that things got stopped in the tracks. You know what I mean? And this is a lot of, this is the past and it's some of the current. But we also see what is incoming, which is very different. They want to, they don't want to just make this right. This is somebody who wants you, Virgo. So this is all showing in. There it is. There's the broken promises. I don't love that, but it's here. It's here because that is so much what's been going on. It's the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Princess, Prince Charming energy. It's the broken promise energy, you know? But the Magician is here. It's look, the stagnation and the moving. The Three of Wands in reverse. The Sun and Aries energy. Putting, oh my God. Putting the sun, is that the Ten of Wands again? It is. It's the Ten of Swords. Well, yeah. Broken promise energy putting you in the Ten of Swords. You can't get in anymore. It's what I want to tell you. The cycle is ending. It's clear. This is the completion of that cycle, the world card. But going into the Ten of Swords, not, not great. It's, you know, connected to the Three of Wands in reverse. It's delays, lack of movement, broken promises, Knight of Cups. It's how you got here. But look what else is here. It's the High Priestess as I'm holding on to the Magician. Here to teach your person lessons. Coming in here in a different vibe. And, well, yeah, the Magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. And can alchemize all of that. Past energy, current energy, and set things up for the future here in the World card. As above, so below, taking inspired action. Turning their visions into reality, which we can see what they are, but there's been some fear around this, both from whatever they were hiding, they were hiding how they felt, not anymore. That's clear. And whatever else was going on here. Look, it just got, got you right here. It just slowed everything down. Their ego is one of the big ones, I want to say. Shadow and ego, kind of a lower, lower vibration. I don't, I don't love that, but that's just, this is how it is. The Emperor. Connecting with the star in reverse. I mean, that's most definitely pride, ego, fear. It's coming out of that energy here and connecting with the high priestess and the magician. You know, this is where you literally go here after the magician is into the high priestess energy. This is manifesting you, soulmate energy, Gemini and Virgo, Mercury, infinity. 
could be connecting for twin flames for some of you. I know that's not for everyone and it might be a different energy here for you, you know. But that's also a particular kind of love, forever kind of love you could say. And it's truth and it's balance and it's renewal. It's a new beginning which has not been happening. Clearly, mature er some arrogance. I hate to say that, but it's true. And the Ten of Swords, you know what happened here? You can't get any more in. It's the Sun in Gemini. The Sun is coming up there. You know, has it been in reverse? Yes, it has, I feel. It's a kind of like a temporary energy of waiting. I do feel, <laughs> you can see it. And the swords are transactional. It's clarity, your relationship, it's truth, it's communication. And it's all been the lack of that. Lack of truth of how they feel, lack of communication. Lying, whether it's by omission, just not sharing how they feel or something else. Maybe there's other, other connections, other things. Or outright lying. This is the revealing energy in the High Priestess. Divine Feminine energy. Cancer energy. This intuitive energy, of course. Trusting yourself, your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels being guided here. So both your person revealing how they feel. Lover's card. Justice is super strong. But also, where are you at? Where are you at, you know? You have free will. Your person has free will. Everybody does. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future <laughs> is not fixed. And as I say that, I pick up the world card. Divine number. Divine timing. Strong completion energy. And yeah, some of the energy around here can be marriage. We could be talking, bringing in family, extended family, births. Things that, that I feel like were... Either already happening, we're on the table, or we're part of the future plans that just kind of stopped. So it's here again. The potential is really high. It's a lot of potential. It's the magician. It's new beginnings, and it's them taking this opportunity. And you, in order to even move forward, you got to get out of no contact, no communication and or in separation. Even if it's just a talk here in the Three of Cups, whether it's in person or apart. There's a lot of hurt energy here. Again, expectations weren't met. Promises were broken. But they're on the move here. Again, it could be physically, finally. So it's connecting with the delay in the Three of Wands. The lack of confidence in the Six of Wands in reverse. But we know in the Five of Wands in reverse, they're trying to work it out. And they are moving forward here with the Chariot. With the World card. With the Magician. Really, really strong. Getting out of this ego that they've been in and hiding how they feel and holding back and some power struggles, not responding, emperor in reverse energy. The soulmate energy is really strong. Again, if you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. This is obstacles out of the way. Karmic debts paid, you could say. Lessons learned. And things being able to move forward. Life-changing decisions life-changing decisions here. I'm always shuffled and ready to go, but I want to move the energy a little more. Your Oracle today. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Virgo. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. What does Virgo need to see? Aho. It's three. It's the most. I take in a draw. Sometimes I break my own rules. <laughs> Blindfold unseen, what's being revealed. The truth of how they feel about you. And whatever the truths have been here, why weren't they responding? Why? What happened here to the connection? Nine of Cups in reverse, yet the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. The Ten of Pentacles right below it with that page holding onto it. It's kind of King of Pentacles in reverse energy, like not following through, you know? Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, that's a 99. And that's an energy of fulfillment. Taking off this blindfold, revealing how they feel, connecting us to the moon. Pisces. Cancer and Gemini energy. Communicating, opening up. The reveal is really strong. The alignment and the castle. This is your connection. For me, this is your <laughs> That camera makes me crazy. I saw it and I thought... Come on, get the camera sorted before it dies and I just get into your reading and I forget. In any case, I, think we're, I don't think we missed too much. Blindfold here, 
the moon energy, the revealing energy. And we're here on the castle in alignment. And what I wanted to say is this is your journey. And the sun is right behind it. And that's the outcome. So it's like wanting the same things for the future energy. Coming here with our world card. The completion energy. This is the last major arcana in the major arcana energy. So it's like here we go. And it wanted to be the overall energy here today. Ending the no contact, no no communication and or in separation and making some decisions here in that lover's card and also in Justice who was here in the upright who came back giving us this current energy of it in reverse. But that's the alignment. It's like wanting the same things for the future. Connected with the world. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Pillars. Support. That's high priestess energy. It's revealing. But also showing up for each other. And the four areas of support and stability, mentally, emotional, physical, and spiritual. You know, it's like revealing how you feel energy here, too. Which is, we already know in the lover's energy, and it's a validation. They love you. You love them. You love each other. Heart connection. This, of course, is lover's card energy, which we saw. But it's also, of course, directly connecting to the heart chakra, Making this move, getting out of no contact, pomegranate prosperity. So it connects with me with the high priestess, but this is also connecting with Jupiter, the planet of prosperity and expansion. Around some timing, I feel like, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. I don't know, somebody's ready, somebody's not. Somebody's available, somebody's not. Seven of Cups. It's coming out of that energy. You know, the timing energy, which we also see here in the world card. And it's also bringing in some temperance energy, which is interesting because that's also a very strong connection to the heart chakra. Yeah, it's really unbalanced energy here in our emperor in reverse, trying to work that out. They know how they feel about you. That is really clear. And the revealing energy is also here. And as I say that, look. Mountains, golds, gold, excuse me, lion, temperament, sphinx, ancient wisdom. So this is the chariot and the high priestess. Look at that cancer energy here. Ooh, it's a lot. It's connecting with both. It's connecting with the revealing, the information they've received, the information they're revealing. And also the sphinx you had to tell you had to have an answer to the riddle to get them to move, to get the obstacles out of the way. Balance their own energies, but also, yeah, their chakras as well. That's another thing here altogether, but this is also coming through, even just in our dress here. I am, I feel, I do, I love, I speak, I see, I know. It's all of it. But this is getting that chariot moving, connecting the moon and cancer, connecting with the high priestess energy of revealing how they feel, making a decision, and getting over the obstacles. That's the world card we're validated here. In fact, these are really, these cards are strongly connected. Look at the shadow there, getting out of that, overcoming the obstacles and reaching your goals, reaching the top. It's coming right here with temperance, with the lion, the strength too. And that's temperance that I've been feeling coming in. Connection to, to Archangel Michael. The angel for strength. Protection. Getting everybody on the path to the truth. Getting the truth out here for everybody's highest good. The truth is we know that they love you. And the truth is, is that they're on the move here. And there's overcoming this. It's literally connected in reaching your goals. Getting the strength to do that our, the, with the support of Archangel Michael. There could be actual people involved here. King of Swords, Page of Swords, the Temperance Energy. We could be talking about kind of mediating energy with friends or family, even with the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles here. Even the Nine of Cups, maybe somebody that interfered. It's in reverse. But here, this I'm talking about the energy coming in. Positive energy, the incoming energy. So... Yeah, it may be an actual person, but it's also the spiritual guidance. It's the angelic realm. It's Archangel Michael here. I'm really liking that. And more of that sun energy. Because it's also like the strength card. Leo and source. 
And, you know, that's working things out, receiving the messages. The crown chakra had a new cycle, a happy outcome. Getting the courage, look. Also, opening heart up energy. So if you've been feeling kind of closed to your person here, afraid to be hurt, hermit in reverse. I mean, you can see the ignoring the arrogant energy, the commitment issues, the stagnancy, the ego. A decision for you, obviously, in that lover's card energy for both of you. But you, tapping into your intuition, your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels and guiding you to what is for your highest good. There is a lot of contemplative energy here in the Ten of Swords, you know, of figuring that out. Channeled love messages, messages from your higher self. You make me feel safe to open up. It's bare. It's really instinctive, intuitive energy, strong, pushing through obstacles, getting things moving again. You take me to infinity. Again, it could be twin flame energy for some of you, but it's a particular kind of love. It's truth, balance, and renewal. My life has completely changed. I'm in my man-woman cave. <laughs> it's the hermit energy big time. And the reversal energy, you know, of just being afraid to mess it up more around your person and you not wanting to get hurt. I look to my heart for guidance. Look at that. High priestess. A lot of high priestess energy here in our pillars and our sphinx. The heart connection, the heart chakra, literally. I look to my heart for guidance. I'm mind blown over and over. Just connecting with some of the realizations. With us, there is no end. So there it is again. That's also infinity. You know, it's also an eight. An action number. And truth, balance, renewal. But that's bringing us 88. And that is butterfly energy. It's a new stage energy. And that's connecting directly for me with our death and rebirth energy here. Which we also have our infinity sign. And that's your person getting out of ego. Needing to get out of ego clearly here and come in a very, very different vibe. And it's dark to light. You know, it's information. It's a revealing energy. The fact that they love you. And what else? Was there some actual lying about other things? Were they lying about that outright or they were just hiding it? It's the new stage energy. It's butterfly energy here, literally. I don't know if I can kind of show you. <laughs> Transformational energy. So uprighting that death energy. Here are the depths of my soul. I am shifting very deeply right now. <laughs> Look, here it is. That's the butterfly energy. That's the transformational energy. It's the upright in here in the death card. You make me feel safe to open up. Unseen. Revealing feelings. The blindfold. I feel so much desire for you. I'm going to leave it at that <laughs> because you can see that. And our lion here telling me that, yeah, there is, a, there is a strong chemistry between the two of you. And whether you were in kind of a dream relationship or you could be there, that is here. More channeled love messages. Messages from, that's the most, their, their higher self. It was my fault, but I blamed you. It's the low vibration energy. It's the ego. I look for you everywhere. Remember to take what resonates. Let go of the rest. If you're not feeling like it's connecting with you. I feel you even though we are apart. My life is not as together as it seems. I couldn't let you get close to me. It's kind of like really going here sort of how things got there. And it connected with the heart connection. Some heart chakra blockage. You speak to me through music. Musicians or not. This is strong energy. So it could be playlists. Somebody's listening. We saw that in the page 
of swords energy that they're watching they're talking about you they want that to end not talking i mean listening to music i wish i could share my good news with you so something here also perhaps in our six of wands in reverse i wonder if you are happy without me i wish things could be different the tarot closet love messages Channel love messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. Is that it there? I think so. That's it. Can you feel my love? The lovers. I miss you. We will be together again someday. Give me time. I will never give up on us. I feel your energy. Can you feel my love? I have so many regrets. That's been really strong. Justice in reverse, the stagnation, death and rebirth, nine of cups. I fear you have moved on. I was kind of feeling that here today has that energy, you know? Of course, it's the Ten of Swords. It could be for you. I am so sorry I hurt you. I dream of you connecting us with the moon. I received your telepathic messages, so <laughs> yeah. It's Two of Cups energy here. Venus and Cancer energy. I'm hiding my true feelings. This is what has been going on here in... The Hermit and, not the Hermit, the Star and the Emperor in reverse. The Tarot Closet Love Messages, channeled love messages from your person. Love Notes, messages from their higher self. This is one that wants to go first. We are destined to be together. When you get out of that Hermit card energy, you go to the Wheel of Fortune and you spin that baby and you take a chance. It's the turning point. That's fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. I spy on you. That's the page of swords, which has been really, really strong in your energy. I miss you. We have a deep soul connection. I wanna put this here. Why does it wanna go there? It's interesting. It's going to sound really weird, but it's kind of connecting. It's like the lover's card energy is kind of like here, which was coming in, as you know. I'm hurting right now. I'm feeling that. Thinking of you brings me peace. You are my soulmate. Lover's card. A heart connection. It's also here in that energy and of course here in the world card. The magician manifesting you, soulmate energy. I'm sorry I ghosted you. Eight of Cups, Saturn and Pisces. Apologizing. I stare into your eyes in photos, more of the Page of Swords energy, which has been really clear. I feel your energy. I feel your energy. I received your telepathic messages. So the connection between you, the emotional connection, the telepathic energy is really strong. You, I feel like your person's been dreaming about you. You may be dreaming about them as well. Revealing information for you there, by the way. It's your last channel love message. Message from their higher self, Virgo. I regret how I left things. Yeah, this has been really strong. Putting it here with I'm sorry. I hurt you. Beautiful Virgo, that is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you on your journey and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon.